Hi, greetings to all Whovians. Whovian Queen here. Hope you have a good week so far. Well, I look at the 13th Doctor Eric now continues on with It Takes You Away. The 13th Doctor and her companions arrive in present day Norway, materializing near a cabin. They meet its sole occupant, a blind teenager named Han, who moved to the cabin with her father Eric following the death of her mother, Trine. Since her father has disappeared, with Han unable to search for him because she keeps hearing a creature outside the cabin every day. Upstairs, the group discover a bedroom mirror with no reflection, revealed to be a portal. While the doctor, Graham, and Yasmin enter it, Ryan remains behind with Han. Upon finding speakers around the house aimed at keeping her inside, Ryan's discovery prompts Han to knock him out and enter the portal. The doctor and the others find themselves in the anti-zone, a buffer space between universes to prevent catastrophic damage. They briefly encounter Ribbons, a deceptive alien who guides them through the zone only to become prey for flesh-eating moths when attempting to take the Doctor's sonic screwdriver. The others evade them by entering another portal, finding themselves within a reflected parallel universe, where they come, whereupon they encounter Eric talking with Trine, despite her being dead. At the same time, Graham finds himself encountering his own dead wife, Grace. The Doctor deduces they are encountering the Soul Attract, a sentient entity whose incompatibility with the universe led to its exile, becoming a universe-seeking companionship. Hain arrives and immediately recognizes the solid tracked version of Trian as an imposter before being ejected back to the anti zone. The doctor realizes that the solid track is, cla track is collapsing on itself due to the group's presence. She then manages to get everyone out while convincing the solid track to keep her instead of Eric by offering it her vast experience. The solid track accepts the offer and ejects Eric, bringing the doctor to a room within a white space. Despite her enthusiasm at the prospect of speaking to a sentient universe, the Soul Tract assumes the form of a talking frog with Grace's voice. The Doctor explains she cannot stay as they are, as they are unable to coexist. The Soul Tract releases her at her request, allowing her to make her way back through the anti-zone before the portals collapse. After the adventure, Eric decides to return to Oslo with Hain, or Hany, or her, her name is pronounced, sorry. While Ryan bonds with Graham and calls him Granddad for the first time. Aww. So now finally, let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. During the episode, Yasmin makes a suggestion to the Doctor to reverse the polarity. This is a reference to a recurring phrase used by the Third Doctor during his stories in the original series. Nice. So overall, I actually do kind of like this episode, and while well, it was kind of interesting to see Grace one last time, it was kind of sad that, that well, that was the only time... That this is the only time we ever could see her again. So, yeah. So, overall, I give It Takes You Away. Four Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, anyway, to the next time as we take a look at the Battle of Renscore Av Kolos. Well, hope you enjoyed, hope you, well, hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about my blood videos. And if it helps support this channel further, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link as always is in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Hoobie and Queen saying, Oh my giddy aunt! When I say run, run! I've a versatility of the neutron flow. Would you like a chili baby? Fantastic! Allons-y! Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool.